good morning excuse this I just <laughs> spilled water on my shirt um, it is an absolutely beautiful morning out here today is July 4th um, we're gonna cook later possibly grill so I thought I would get out early and harvest some things I know I have some zucchinis that are going to be huge because I should have grabbed them yesterday when I was out but I was being lazy um, I think I'm gonna grab some more cabbage or greens I have some in the fridge ready to go and we're gonna see what else is ready and what meal I can come up with all right I'm going to start here in my bajega raised bed where I know I have at least three zucchini ready to go I got these zucchini plants at a local nursery because I didn't um, have success with all the ones I tried to start I do have a round zucchini plant up front um, but yeah so they had these this was pretty late. I don't remember when I added them, but there were five <laughs> in the cell block. So I have five zucchini plants. And from what I can see, a couple of them may have been a different variety. I would have to do some research to see what, but we'll see what we have. Here we have a traditional, beautiful dark green zucchini. Looks good. A little bit of damage right there. That looks like from probably just getting scratched or something. Oh, I forgot my basket. One second. You might as well have a seat. <laughs> so that's one. There's another one on this plant. Hope I can get it without damaging anything else. There we go. Ooh, look at that beauty. I need to check the plant in the back. on there that are doing well. There's another one on here that can span a couple more days. And uh, this plant, oh, there's another one. So they are cranking them out. Now let's go to my other bed where I know I have one ready. All right, so there's one big one on this plant as well. Another thing I'm going to do today, look at that, beautiful, is spray everything with BT again. It's been doing a great job so far of keeping the cabbage moths and other worms and things at bay. Um, let me give you a closer look at these. Look at those beauties. I'm so happy. Over here we have some kale, lots and lots of beautiful kale ready to go. Uh, some of these, I believe that's a broccoli. I have to see what this is. It's huge, but look at those gorgeous leaves. They are edible. Over here we have tons of leaves ready to go. So I'm going to pull a whole bunch of this stuff, cut this back, and kind of refresh it same thing over here and you know what i might pull some peppers i don't have any that are ripe yet but peppers can be used green as well so i'm going to pull full of a few early peppers for dinner and i also need to check i saw a cucumber yesterday that was getting up to a nice size it still has a way to go so far i've gotten three cucumbers from this plant that's a wisconsin smr it's growing like crazy and i'm letting it vine all over the fence I've done a little pruning to the bottom, but that's it. On this side, we have a lemon cucumber. They're kind of intertangled now, but there's a lemon cucumber over here. Those take longer to get started. They have a few baby fruits. I see a bumblebee doing his business. <laughs> um, they do have baby fruits, but they take a long time to come up to size. I remember that from last year. 
So I'm just gonna set up the camera at the front of the garden and get busy. perfect red potato that I just accidentally scraped while harvesting. So we'll be using this. Over here we have my green stock where a lot of my beautiful leaves have been decimated by flea beetles. You can see that they seem to be mostly gone now. Um, I'm going to keep treating for them though just in case. But these leaves went from being gorgeous having bunches of holes in them There's some beetles so this is why even when you grow things in a green stalk you want to wash it I saw someone say she didn't have to wash the stuff <laughs> that she grew in her green stalk okay but um, the other thing is as you can see lots of these plants this was southern giant curled mustard letting it go to seed look at the pods so these pods will dry up and they will become seeds one thing i'm thinking about doing is just getting a planter or um, a grow bag and moving all of these plants that i'm purposely let go and go to seed into it so i can put something new in these pockets And then they can just sit because I don't feel it's necessary to water this stuff anymore either. You want to let it dry out at this point. Here's some rainbow tetsoi. They decimated this as well. And it is also bolting. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all the rest of this one. the leaves with holes in them I really had to change my mindset about still eating them there, must, there are some that are not so bad the ones that are like just beyond recognition <laughs> I put those in compost a couple of these going straight to compost If I had chickens, then I'd feed the chickens. You can even see some. eggs on that one. I just smashed two of them. I should have showed you first. But Oh, here's another one. You can see two really, really tiny little yellow dots. I believe those are eggs for something. Nothing good either. 